Are you ready? You? Ready, here we go. New York the step only. New York the step only. Three, go, one, two, three, time step, go, cha cha step, cha cha step, cha cha step, cha cha twelve, two, three, cha cha stop, beautiful. Now we're going to combine, thank you Len. Right, now we're going to combine the whole thing together. Now, remember this is called the teaching track. It's very slow. And we're going to build it up a little bit. Here we go. One more time. Five, six, seven, eight. We're going to do the whole thing from the beginning. Ready? Mark time step. Put your weight, gentlemen, on your right hip or on your right heel. Ladies, put your weight on your left heel. Five, six, seven, mark time. Rock, rock. Cha, cha, step. Basic step. Twirly step. One, two. Cha, cha, step. Walk, walk. Lady twirls. Two, three. Arm up step, New Yorker step, time step, go. Mark time step, mark time step, mark time step, twirly twirl, turn, turn, basic stop. Okay, now ladies, your alamata turn is not correct. All right, most of you are doing it is okay, but when we're turning, two, three, Cha cha step. I want you to turn, step across, and do a half a turn only. Then turn. Cha cha step. Remember, half a turn. Now, to allow the ladies to twirl correctly, gentlemen's left hand must signal the lady. So we're doing basic step, cha cha step. My left hand must point in the direction that she's turning. So as Christina turns, my left fingers are going in the direction that she's turning. Stop. Don't move anymore. Christina, face the front. That way. That's a good girl. You're doing great. <laughs> now when she turns, she continues to turn and then she, fa she faces her partner. Okay. Half a turn only. Do not do three eighths. So we're doing cha-cha step, half a turn, wait, and then turn. Okay, don't do it in La La Land. Alright, so we do a half a turn which creates the sharpness. One more time, we're doing our New Yorker step. Five, six, seven, go. And two, three, mark time step. Now, back step, step, back step, step, back step, step. Ladies, 12, stop. Don't move. Half a turn only. Good, just pick it all up together, that's it. Now, ladies, we'll continue to turn and chuck. Cha cha cha, cha cha cha. Good. Okay, let's try that with music now. Are you ready? We're going to do the whole thing from the beginning. You can do it to the slow track first, and then we'll go faster. Ready? Here we go now. Head up nice and tall. Keep your center up. Higher. Right. Here we go. Ready? Two, three, four, one. Here we go, ready? I said the music 
has a relationship with you. Now that music is quite exciting and you felt something happen, correct? It wasn't boring. Sometimes when you look at the music, it is rather, I call it boring. Okay, there's no excitement about it. Okay, here we go again, one more time, and I'll put something else on. Alright, here we go again. Don't get too excited. I do this with Christina. Look, this girl's been going all afternoon all day. Give her a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. She's a wonderful dancer here. Congratulations, Tony. I'm very proud of you. Now, as we go into our New Yorker step, two, three, cha cha one. Now, our time step is together. So if we're doing cha cha one, cha cha two, cha cha three, cha cha four, lady twelve, three, cha cha one. Now. I call that fun. I call it fun. Sometimes we lose the concept of having fun with cha-cha. So when you have fun, it makes it much more interesting to do. And I think, it, I think a lot of you all kind of do the whole competition thing, but you lose the concept of making it fun. Yes, it might be difficult, but at the end of the day, say the word fun and you'll enjoy it. If it becomes hard work, find another sport to do. Easy. I don't, find that, I don't find that very difficult to understand. If you want to have fun, you enjoy dancing, beautiful, have a go. But I think we lose that slightly. Yes, we're all very competitive, and yes, we're trying to achieve, we have the desire to win, so it becomes harder work. But, as we heard this morning, with people talking about what you use your head and how you produce that perfect partnership, you've got to be balanced together as a couple. That's what makes you so successful. So in relation to what we're doing in cha-cha-cha, you have the word, I always use the word, fun. Okay, so when you use the word fun, you'll feel, oh, this is really, enjoy I'm enjoying this. You know when you're in a class and you see everyone enjoying themselves, they're having a lot of fun. So sometimes we lose that in the competitiveness of the whole thing. Sometimes. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm the first to say that because I was a very strong competitor as well. But in doing that, I still enjoyed the music. Okay. Thank you, Christina, for one more minute. That was great. We're going to now continue on. Yeah, give a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. She's a good girl. Okay. Now, let's talk about... I'm going to move on to Paso Doble. A lot of people find it... Okay, it's a subject that you all have to use, all right, if you're continuing on to a higher level. Paso Doble, what does it all mean? Okay. I call it the perfect performance. 
If you have a perfect performance, perfection creates a perfect performance. Um, understanding Pasadobla, I think it's really important. What do you understand about it? Okay, we all say it's Spanish dancing. Okay, that's good. It's a matador feel, yes. But the lady plays a great part in this. She becomes, I feel, not the cape. That's, that's a wrong terminology. I feel that she becomes a gypsy woman. All right, so she becomes the character of a gypsy, looking at a beautiful matador in the balcony, getting him to get her attention. So in the sense of understanding the word paso doble, where is it coming from and how do we relate as a couple, remember the word a couple. So when you create the word a couple, you must understand what part is she playing and what part is the man playing. Good. So we all know that the man will be playing a matador, maybe. A bit of Spanish uh, influence there, which would be the, the flamingo side. But also I feel there is a romance about it all. There is definitely a romance. You must join two things together, which will be the romance of the, the matador and the wild lady of the gypsy. Now, the movie Zorro plays a very important part in this. If you've anyone seen the movie called Zorro, there was a part in that where they, where they danced something similar to a pasadoble. But it's, it was quite passionate. I find it quite passionate and theatrical. So there are the words theatrical, drama, passionate. But the perfect performance I've written down here is really, it's the timing that has to be understood. The highlight, the timing, the accented of every step. For example, um, if we do, if I go to another dance called Gypsy Tap, you all know Gypsy Tap, I relate to that as very a precision step. Side together, side together, and turn and open out. In Paso Doble, it's a similar action. For example, if we do a surplus, and then we do an appel, and then a walk, it's the same feeling. You must be in correct position to continue on the next variation. So we have, in, in a sense, Paso Doble is a totally different dance. It's drama, it has precision, and again, perfection. I call it perfection from the point of understanding the music. If we understand the music, of course, people can relate to what the dance is all about. Yes, there is a certain part where the lady definitely plays a great part in this, so we've got to understand what part she's playing. She's in allowing the man to create the shaping of what is necessary to make the passage of late dramatic. So she can't, I believe it's the man's dance, the lady is shadowing the man all the way. So it's a still a partnership that allows the lady to feel part of the dance, but not fully in control. It's the man that controls the whole element of the Paso Doble. So, I'm going to have all the gentlemen please stand up. The ladies, you can all have a rest for a minute. Don't be shy, gentlemen. We're not doing anything. That we're not going to jump and split and do whatever. Don't worry. It's not going to be like that. Okay, now, you're not going to take your shirts off and show me all your body. Don't go there. Okay, I want you to slightly be... Um, what I'm going to do... Firstly, I would like you all to get behind me. That'd be good. Just all behind me. It might be easier. Okay. Now, what I'd like you all to understand, how do we stand? How do we stand in Paso? Now, when I say how we stand, we must stand with a slight erect front. Okay, so your body is nice and toned. So we must learn to walk correctly in Paso. I feel there's a slight arching feeling. Not a back feeling. There's a slight arching feeling. So there's a slight tone and a lift through your back. So as you're walking, all right, as you're walking, you trail the back foot. So creating the back foot, you actually have to feel that you're pushing the dirt away. 